the horse, the uh, Rasanate, and his squire, Sancho Panza. And the works coined the phrase, quote, tilting at windmills, which means attacking imaginary enemies. Any ideas? Well, here's your musical clue. musical clue for this morning's literary inspired classical commuter quiz a major work of literature that was published in two parts over 10 years apart the first one coming out in 1605 and recounts the adventures of a nobleman from la mancha who finds an old suit of armor well if you happen to know that today is the anniversary of the publication of part one of don quixote you would be correct yes we heard amorous sighs for Princess Dulcinea from Telemann's orchestral suite of Don Quixote, Jean Lamont conducting Toffel music. There's a very animated classical commuter quiz for you tomorrow at just around 7.45. Well, we are going to spend the rest of the hour in the company of the boy who lived. This is Dumbledore's army for Nicholas Hooper's score to Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix.
music from the fifth Harry Potter film based on, you guessed it, the fifth Harry Potter book. That was Dumbledore's Army from Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, original score by Nicholas Hooper. In one minute, the romance will be on point. San Diego Symphony's principal guest conductor, Ado DeVart, leads the symphony in a celebration of Beethoven's 250th birthday this January at Copley Symphony Hall at Jacobs Music Center. Here are some of the composer's most iconic masterpieces, including Beethoven's Fifth Symphony, the Overture to Egmont, and Symphony No. 6, The Pastoral. Tickets and information at sandiegosymphony.org. This is KUSC 91.5 FM and HD1 Los Angeles and Orange County, worldwide at KUSC.org. Classical KUSC is a broadcast service of University of Southern California, home of the USC Fisher Museum of Art, building our cultural community and making Southern California a better place to live. Listener supported Classical KUSC. Hey, very good Thursday morning. Alan Chapman here, 8 o'clock. Thanks for tuning in. And this, the quick story of Haram Khachaturian in the late 40s, 1948. That was the year that the Central Committee of the Communist Party in the Soviet Union targeted a, a bunch of composers who uh, they said were anti-democratic or something like that, uh, which meant that their works uh, suddenly were invisible. That was 1948, and Khachaturian was among those who were... Who were singled out uh, by the government. But early in 1950, he was allowed to travel with a Soviet delegation to Italy, which took him to the Colosseum, which inspired him to write a ballet on the subject of the gladiator Spartacus. And from that ballet, the adagio of Spartacus and Phrygia.
Spartacus and Phrygia from the Spartacus Ballet by Aram Khachaturian, Scottish National History Conduct. Good name is your Spartacus and Phrygia from the Spartacus Ballet by Aram Khachaturian, Scottish National History Conduct. Countries have uh, indicated perhaps a frog who's engaged in a mock marriage with the god Jupiter. How's that for a picture? Here are dances from the work in which that occurs. It's Ramos Plate. Thank <laughs> you. 